Thor News presents bump, chicka, bump, wow, Magnetic Sun Snake Outbreak. Huh? An outbreak of magnetic filaments. The sunspot number may be low, but the sun is far from blank. Amateur astronomers monitoring the sun report a large number of magnetic filaments snaking across the solar disk. Sergio Castillo. Captured more than a half dozen in this picture. He sends from his backyard observatory in Inglewood, California. Well, I guess Sergio was up to some good deep in Inglewood. Oh. All right. It's funny because most of the non-amateur or pseudo-astronomer photographs haven't really been showing any snakes. Like all the NASA cams and Soho cams and Sechi cams. No snakes. No real snakes anyways. But these photos, total snakes. Almost like we're going to have to call so they're magnetic filaments snaking across the solar disk. Filaments are popping up all over the solar surface, says Castillo. Each one has a unique shape and length. From the longest one in the sun's southern hemisphere stretches more than 400,000 kilometers from end to end. It is one of the longest filamentary structures I've ever seen says veteran observer Bob Runyon of Shelton, Nebraska. And I got that accent perfect because I hung out with that dude for like, never? Okay. If any of the filaments collapses, it could hit the stellar surface and explode, producing a hydro flare. Filaments can also become unstable and erupt outward, hurling pieces of themselves into space. Either way, astronomers with solar telescopes are encouraged to monitor developments. All right. So we got an outbreak of some of the longest solar snakes ever seen. That, that sounds awesome. Not. Yay, snakes, said no one ever. And especially not Indiana Jones. And we don't want to call them cracks in the sun. That would sound bad. Yeah, the sun's got the most amount of... The sun's got a ton of cracks in it. Yeah, that would, that would not sound good. Um, but it's weird when I kick over to the core cam, it looks more like a phoenix, you know, than, than, it, than snakes inside. But, you know, yeah, hey, I just thought this was, this was an interesting article. On spaceweather.com, you hit the W, the W, the W, the dot, the space weather, and the dot com. And, and this article's already gone, but I thought it was fascinating. I mean, snakes don't always mean bad things, right? They're not, snakes are not always bad symbols. Like, there's a time where, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of a cool snake. Uh, cool snake. Mm, yeah, actually, I've never known a cool snake. I love animals, so. I'm not saying I got problems with snakes, I just, you know. I don't know any cool ones, not even any fictional cool snakes. Like the only fictional snake I can think of was like Anaconda or uh, Nagini in Harry Potter. And those those weren't good snakes. So yeah, so let's do what modern science recommends and not look for metaphors and symbols in the sun. Let's just go by normal data. And these are just super long, outbreaking filamentary structures that could collapse, hit the stellar surface, explode and produce a hydro flare. Oh, it could just erupt outward and hurl itself into space. Like, I'm free. Who knows? Snakes. Why does it gotta be snakes? I hate snakes. Indiana Jones also had woman problems. I'm not saying it's doomy. I'm saying it's creepy. Just because it's snakes, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope you do. So thanks for listening, watching, keeping shy. Thanks a lot. It's been fun. It's been real. I sure hope I don't find a Sun snake in my boot. That would be bad. Shotguns are good for snakes, really. Or machetes. Okay. I don't even want to eat a snake. Snake's gross. No. Even if you dipped it in ranch dressing or butter. Snake is still... I don't want to eat a snake. You know? Never. Never. I don't ever want to eat a snake. Never. Anywho.